Welcome to the Big Tech Gut Check here on Scrolling to Death. This is a super quick weekly update on all things social media and big tech, basically everything parents need to know. The news today is from the week of February 26th, 2024. Let's start with Meta this week. Meta was in the news for a few reasons, and I'm sure you know, but in case you don't, Meta owns Instagram and Facebook and Threads and WhatsApp. And on Instagram and Facebook, Meta allows for users to subscribe to other accounts, meaning you can pay a monthly fee and get exclusive content from that person or that brand. Maybe you would subscribe to your favorite cooking account for special recipes or your favorite celebrity for behind the scenes videos. But where this is all going wrong is parents are using subscriptions to exploit their kids. What was found on Facebook and Instagram were hundreds of parent-managed minor accounts which used the subscription feature to sell exclusive content that included photos of young girls in bikinis or leotards. And the people who were subscribing were mostly adult men. Men that were posting public comments on these young girls' photos saying things like, quote, you're so hot or perfect bikini body to girls as young as nine years old. To make this worse, Meta's algorithm was actively promoting these child modeling accounts to adults who had posted pedophilic comments. Team members at Meta saw that this was happening. They proposed a solution, and the bosses declined. Instead, they chose a less reliable automated system that allowed pedophiles to evade the guardrails. Suffice it to say, Meta is putting profits above protecting our kids, and there are some icky parents out there who are actively exploiting their kids. Let's talk about one more Meta-related issue. A new article was posted this week with some positive research about social media use. This article referenced research by a group called the Oxford Internet Institute, who are part of Oxford University, which is pretty legit, right? This research showed that social media's impact on youth well-being is surprisingly minimal. Okay, I was surprised by this, given that there are other reports indicating a direct link between social media use and poor mental health in kids. So I had a chat with my friend, Hannah Ortel at Delay Smartphones, to figure out what was going on here. And Hannah is basically a detective and found the following. Stay with me. The research by Oxford Internet Institute was funded by the Howe Family Foundation. A main trustee of the Howe Family Foundation is Dr. Jan Howe. He is the managing partner of Capula Investment Management. We looked at the investment fund for Capula Investment Management, and they own over $100 million of shares in Meta. This is not just a one-off case. There are tons of similar examples where big tech is using their insane amount of money to fund research that puts them in a good light, to distract us from the lawsuits and the federal investigations, and the pure fact that overuse of their platforms is bad for kids. The big lesson here is always follow the money. What we need from big tech is transparency. They've been able to grade their own homework and hide from harms for as long as they've existed. If they're going to offer a product to our kids, we should know if it's safe or not. We should know the real data. I'm hopeful that new regulation like the Kids Online Safety Act will pass, and this will allow third parties to get access to what's really going on behind the curtain of these big tech companies. On to the next topic, deep fake nudes. This time, boys at a middle school in Beverly Hills, California, were caught creating deep fake nudes of the female classmates. This is happening at schools all over the United States. Free AI tools make it super easy for kids to make their classmates look realistically naked. And regulation on this is struggling to keep up. Several bills have been introduced to criminalize child sexual abuse images created by AI. But in the meantime, we have to talk to our kids about keeping their images private. Because not only is AI being used to create fake nude images of our children, it's being used to create videos, sexual videos. So in addition to teaching your kids about privacy, have a look at your own sharing habits. Consider not posting your kids to social media at all. Even private profiles are at risk. Last up for this week, we're going to talk about Snapchat. I got my hands on the results of a Snapchat test account. Basically what happened is an attorney in Washington set up a test account on Snapchat. She used a brand new cell phone with a brand new phone number and identified as a 16-year-old female. She did not allow Snapchat to access any of her contacts There weren't any on the phone anyways, and right away, Snapchat suggested 200 people she may know, also called the quick ad feature. You can watch my video series on this on Instagram or LinkedIn to actually see a recording of the usernames, but basically she was being suggested to connect with people who were obviously soliciting her for sex and drugs, and she was curious what she would get sent if she simply clicked connect with a few of these users. So she did this, and within minutes, she got messages like, would you be interested in free nudes or trades? One said, contest, youngest, cutest girl to send sexy pics, gets $50 cash app deposit, underage may join. 
and, quote, can I send you a dick pic, to which she did not respond. Then she received multiple photos of male genitalia. Remember, this is a user that Snapchat thinks is a 16-year-old girl. The test gets way worse from here. Again, you can watch the whole thing on my Instagram or my LinkedIn account. But this test basically proves that Snapchat is connecting minors to predatory adults. I apologize for some of the bleak updates this week. The Big Tech Gut Check is often filled with some scary things, but it's important for parents to understand the landscape of the platforms that our children are spending a lot of their time on several hours a day. That's it for this week on the Big Tech Gut Check on Scrolling to Death. I will be in touch next week with more updates.